Okay, I'm going to throw a little color on this headpiece so that I can get a feel for the actual volume of it, how big it is. It's harder for me to to uh, to feel it with line than it is with mass. So I'm going to do a little of that right there. Take a look at it in the mirror. Okay. I mean, it's a little off. Ever, it's always a little off. But what I, I was going to say something a minute ago, and I didn't really, didn't really um, complete the idea. But I'll do it now. For me, like I, like I say, I say things in volume as opposed to in in, in contour, in line. And so, when when my eyes are looking at it, I'm looking at well, is that is this thing here? Is it the right? Does it feel the right size in volume? And uh, and then when I when I begin thinking, concentrating on that, then I I look at it more closely and uh, look back and forth in my drawing. And this is a continual process. Everything is a question of relationships. Once I feel that I have things in pretty much the right position, then I will choose one object, and it's usually my eyes. And uh, once I determine they're in the right place and the size of the painting is basically the right size, then I will begin doing my measuring, my visual measuring uh, from that component. But in my mind right now, the sh size and the shape of this little headpiece sort of uh, is controlling the way I'm thinking about my initial drawing here. If I can make the right, get the right feel for this, then I think I It'll give me the right feel for the for the size of the head that's that's going on here, making sure it's on the, in the right kind of relationship to this canvas that I'm doing. Okay. But already in my mind, I'm thinking about going over to color. I'm going to start putting color on here very quickly. But let's get this eye positions in. And so that I feel confident that they're in the right spot. More or less. Not exactly, just more or less. I think the one thing that you're going to notice in this process of my paintings, for those of you who are familiar with the completed pieces. It looks like I'm just as tedious as I could be, but the fact is, I'm very fast. It takes me a long time to do a painting, but my actual process is very, very quick, very quick. I use very quick strokes, and uh, and it's not until the latter parts of the painting that I do become uh, really boring. Okay, I'm going to look in the mirror here. Okay, it's looking a little creepy. Okay, I'm thinking now, uh, okay, this is still by the bridge of my nose line. Remember, it's going there and the other one's going there, and that's what I'm looking at in the mirror here, too. My nose is always a little bit off center, so it always sort of goes off at an angle. And uh, the one thing that producing a portrait is, is yet, as you look very carefully, you, you see that everybody, everything, has its own particular uh, components, and they, and it's your job to identify what those, how those components actually fit to the rest of the picture. Okay. All right. It's funny that with, these, with charcoal like this, when you do it really fast, the slightest little uh, uh, movement or eraser with your fingers changes the whole look of it. And at some points, it looks rather freaky. But I think we're, I feel pretty good right now. I want to move into some color. Okay. Um, 
sort of have this little ch charcoal process uh, more or less the way I want it. And when I say more or less, I'm saying, well, you know, the size is going to is, is sort of okay. Uh, but let's get some color on there so I can identify the the uh, the shapes even even more. I, I have a better feel for it when I when I put some color on it. I, I have a feeling that what I where I'm going to start and what I'm going to concentrate on right now is making sure that the shape of this headpiece and the line of, of where it connects to my actual forehead that that's fairly accurate. And I have a feeling that the the rest of the painting and the me all the measuring is going to be directly related to to that. That's my first choice. As we move down through the forehead and I do the eyes, then that might change. Uh, what I mean by change is that the way I am perceiving the measuring of w w relationships, one thing to another, it might change once I get down to the eyes. This is a pretty fluid process. Okay?